newsletter editor. So here I'm already in the newsletter feature in the templates tab. So right here you have all of the default templates that are available to you that you can edit to your liking. The other option is going to be creating your template from scratch, which is what we're going to be doing today. So I'm just going to click here on create a template. I'm going to name it, click on create. Here I arrive into the editor. So here you have the different contents that you can add to your newsletter. So we're going to start off by adding one column. You have the margins that are available to you to modify. You can also add in a background, use an image as a background, change the text color and modify the quants. So I'm just going to leave that as is. Here we're going to add in an image. I'm going to drop in our logo right here. There we go. So I can then also modify the margins again, the corners, etc. I'm going to save that. Here we're going to add in one column um, and I'm just going to put in some text. We're going to put in news. I can then put that in bold if I want. Save it. And then we're going to add in right here two columns, which is going to be our content. So as you can see, you can change the disposition of them. You can have a bigger one on the right, on the left, whichever suits you best. You can modify how it's displayed for mobile users and the alignment, again, the background color, the corners, everything is customizable. So we're going to put that like that, save. Then we can add in three columns right here. Same, you can change how they're displayed. Everything is up to you. Then we're going to add in just one column again to create our new category, which is going to be updates. We'll just edit that again to put it in bold, same as the one above. And we will put two columns right there. Lastly, you can also add one column or whatever suits you best here to add in some text and that way it can be your footer for example and right here just to separate the two we're going to just drop in a separator now that I'm happy with how my template looks, I'm going to come right back into manage my newsletters. So here you can see our new template appears. And then I'm just going to click on here and create it as newsletter 29th June. So here we go, we've got our new template. We're just going to drag and drop the content into it, right, like so. And so here I've actually only got one, let's say we've only got one, two, post that I want to put in. So I can go ahead and delete this one and instead add in one column like so and come right back to my posts and add that one in. And as you see here it's all set and ready to go. Once it's ready, I can just come into export and then I have the choice to create a campaign, um, 
preview the URL if I want to see how it displays, send it to myself to then pass it on, download it as a file, get an HTML code, and you can also publish it through MailChimp if you have an account with them. If you have any questions about this new editor, please feel free to reach out either to myself or to Marine, and we'll be happy to get back to you. Thanks.